Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And today I'd like to talk about what mode should you use your digital SLR in. That's right, fuckers, what mode should you use your digital SLR camera in? And there's a great advertisement for Sony where this professional photographer is talking to these these prosumers that's professional, semi-professional, pretend wannabes who are pretending they're, uh, you know, Chase Jarvis. And uh, he goes to them and says, nice digital SLR, are you using auto mode? And a lot of them are. Now, it's embarrassing. Fuckers, it's embarrassing. You don't want to use auto mode. It's amateur, it's amateur hour, okay? It's amateur hour. You really need to understand your camera and uh, you need to play with these fucking things. Now let's, let's just clarify it a bit there because this is very simple stuff and I'm, I'm Archie Luxury and I'm going to explain it in very simple terms. Okay, you want to pass yourself off as a semi-professional photographer. You need to put the camera into A mode, aperture priority mode fuckers that's all you need to know you got to use aperture mode now in aperture mode itself all you got to worry about is the aperture that's the f number now when you look at a lens they'll often say the size like it'll say it's a 18 to 70 that's the range that's the focal range but I'll also have another number there. It'll say things like 3.5 to 4.5. That's the aperture number. And some really expensive lenses, they'll get that number really down, like 1.4. Now, what that basically does, that controls, that is the aperture, and it controls the depth of field. That's a great term, depth of field. Often you'll hear people saying, wow, that photo's got great depth of field. And what they're normally saying is, when you're taking a photo of somebody or something, your main subject in the photo, you can make the surrounding stuff in the photo blurry. That's called the depth of field. And uh, the way you do that is, is by having a low, a low aperture. So I often shoot with a uh, 35 millimeter lens. It's a fixed focal lens and it goes down to 1.8. So I'll take a photo of somebody. It'll have their face in focus and the surrounding trees or whatever's in the background, it'll be blurry. And it gives you a great, that's called the depth of field. Now I've got a few samples, fuckers. With the depth of field, it can go down as I say, it depends on the lens. Now, I'm using a 35mm lens. It's a fixed lens. It means it doesn't zoom in and zoom out. It's just a fixed. That means if I want to get closer to the subject, I've got to move my fat ass and move closer. If I want more stuff in the frame, i got to move my ass. It's a fixed focal length. It doesn't zoom. That's why it just says on the lens, it's a 35mm lens. It doesn't say, it doesn't give you a range between this, between that. No, no, no. It's a fixed focal length lens. The thing, the advantage of these lenses, these are also called prime lenses, is that they're relatively inexpensive and they really have low aperture numbers. And that's what you want, fuckers, low aperture numbers. So I'm going to give you a sample. Here is a photo that I have shot on aperture 1.8. This is a great photo. So the subject, the main subject, is in focus. The surrounding stuff is blurry. Now, just a simple tip, fuckers. If you're taking a photo like this, where do you put the dot? You know the focusing dot? That's the, the points. You want to make sure one of the dots if you're using a single point focusing system or you want to make sure one of them or the, or the one dot is on her eyes, the subject's eyes, because that's where people look to see whether a photo is in focus or not. They look at the eyes. So that's what you want to do, fuckers. That's a professional tip there. So there we go. This is uh, 1.8. 
Now, here's another photo, and this is, uh, I believe it's about, it's about 5.6. 5.6, so it's not as blurry. It's still not, the, the surrounding area is not in focus. And let's go for the next photo is, it's got a, uh, an aperture of 11. So it's all pretty well in focus. So that's aperture. That's what the aperture controls. So normally you want to have a low aperture. The advantages of a low aperture is that it's very fast. It's a very quick, quick, very fast operating lens. And the other advantage is, is that the, um, the, the, the other big advantage is it's going to make you look like a pro. You look like a professional. So in aperture mode itself there, you basically turn the wheel to the A and you basically control the aperture. And if you want the subject to be in focus but the, the uh, border to be out of focus, you'd have a very low aperture. If you want the whole picture in focus, you'd have a very high aperture, like 11 uh, and even higher maybe. If you want it... Uh, where the subject's in focus but the border is slightly out, you'd have about a 5.6 type aperture. So there you go, aperture mode. Now the other beautiful thing about aperture mode is the camera takes care of everything else. The ISO, it takes care of the, the, um, all the other settings except for the flash. <clears throat> if you want to use a flash with aperture mode, you need to invoke it. So this is a very, very good thing because the worst thing with photography is when this stupid camera starts starts opening the flash and, and, and uh, sometimes you don't want a flash when it's trying to put the flash on. So um, this is a great thing too. In aperture mode, you won't have that problem. The other mode, now I'll be honest with you, most pros I know, most pros, 80% of the time, they use aperture mode. That's correct. What's the exe exemption? Well, the exemption is if you're doing sports photography. And for that, for that, you would control the shutter speed. You want a very fast shutter to capture the action and the moment. Otherwise, it'd be blurry. But most photography that people do, it tends to be more aperture type photography. I'll talk about shutter control in another video that I make. But there you go. You want to look like a pro? You use aperture mode. Understand what aperture is and how it controls the photo. And you will never have to have the embarrassment of using auto mode on your camera. And you and me can both look down and tease people who use auto mode or scene mode. With, with aperture mode itself, you can become a true professional and big note yourself and look down on people who use point and shoot cameras and auto mode. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think of aperture mode.